I don't want to jinx it, but we are having one of those mornings where things, things are just going, you know? Woken up, got some beautiful sunshine. It feels like spring is here. I mean, I know we're in March, so it literally, it could be like this one day and then snow in the next, but we can't make the most of this. We're trying to work out ways that we can make bread in the summer when we've not got our wood fired oven going. So we've plugged the bread maker into our battery bank just to see how that gets on. And Junior is having a nap. Honestly, I don't want to jinx it, but things, things are going all right. We're gonna have a bit of a springy day, really. We're gonna head up the allotment later and, um, well, hopefully head up the allotment later and get a few jobs done and, well, started up there. And I think we're also planning on getting some seeds. Seed sown? Yeah? Seed sown, yeah. First seeds we're gonna try and do for the, for the season. having a bit of an experiment planting our first seeds of the season. We're using these, they're um, compact compost pods. They've got a little hole for where the seeds go. So we just need to soak them in warm water and then they swell up. And I've got no idea how long they take to form their proper size so we can then plant in them. So let's hope it's quick because I want to get planting now. <laughs> I've got no idea how much water's put in. They're all neatly in their little line. Obviously they're gonna float. <laughs> That's probably enough, isn't yeah? it? They're swimming. They're meant to be swimming. I've got no idea. <laughs> look at that. They look like little chocolate puddings. Or something else, actually. Well, right. what else? I don't know, little brown parcels. <laughs> Someone's right. been changing a baby too much. <laughs> <laughs> right, what should we plant? What have we got? We need right. to remember what we put where. <laughs> nah. Nah. No, that's the beauty of gardening. You just sort of recognise the sprouts when they come out. What are you doing? I do Brussels. Nice. Have our first fully homegrown Christmas. What, with just Brussels sprouts? Yeah. We have a Brussels plant <laughs> each. Believe me when um, <laughs> I say we'll just remember what we've planted in each little one. Yeah. So she's she's doing the sensible thing and labelling each one up. While she's doing that, um, I'm gonna grab us a few bits for lunch from the towpath. I know that sounds weird, um, but this is like early early spring, and it's when the young stinging nettle leaves, the fresh shoots start coming through, and they're delicious. You can use them like you would use spinach in recipes. I mean, you need to make sure you cook them, so don't just have them raw in a salad. Um, if you cook them, that's, it kills the stingy part of it. But they're really full of nutrition, and it just feels like a bit of a waste not to use them. So I'm going to grab a few of them to stick in the dal, which I've knocked up for our lunch, using my trusty school safety scissors. The only scissors we've got. This is going to be a little bit Alan Partridge, but I want you to do me a favour. Just pause the video now and leave a comment saying what your favourite smell is in the entire world. Because I'm going to be a little bit bold and I'm going to guess that freshly made, homemade bread is going to be 
well up there. That is just, oh, it smells so good. It's irresistible, that. I'm so impressed. Considering that's come out of the bread maker, powered entirely by the battery power bank. You know, it's been on for over five hours and it's, it's baked a loaf of bread. So cool, this might be the answer for how we're gonna get fresh bread in spring and summer and hopefully into autumn too. Oh, lush. Right, the size of that with lunch. Those nettle leaves gonna go into the dull. Bish bash bosh, jobs are good. Un. Absolutely starving. I'm so looking forward to eating this. Got some lovely lentils, some real nourishing turmeric, the wild nettles, um, and some fried cumin seeds, coriander seeds, hemp seeds, which is my new favourite thing, um, and crispy fried garlic cloves as well. Oh, it's just like a lovely bowl of nourishing, nutritious nut. Mmm. Mmm. I'll tell you what though, before I properly tuck in, I want to tell you a little bit more about the power bank that we use um, to make the loaf which we're enjoying with today's lunch. I've not actually checked how much battery's left in here after we popped it on this morning for the um, bread maker. So what are you saying? Uh, bear in mind the bread machine takes like five hours to do its full cycle and part of that is heating up like an actual oven. What do you reckon? We'll have anything left. 43% left. I think that's really impressive actually, considering this baked a whole loaf of bread. Um, this is the All Powers R1500 battery bank, essentially. And we have been gifted this to put to the test for today's video. There is so much built into this little box. If you are like us, and you live on a boat, or you're just about to start your own van conversion, or maybe you like going camping, you need power when you're fully off grid, I'd really recommend looking into one of these. So you've got just over 1.1 kilowatt hours of storage. You've got an inbuilt pure sine wave inverter, rated up to 1,800 watts, but a surge rating up to 3,000 watts. And that powers the four AC ports on the front. Um, you've also got USB ports, a DC cigarette lighter, and also two wireless charging ports on the top. Something else I've been really impressed by is how quickly this charges back up. So if you're at home and you're plugging into an AC port, um, then this can charge from 0% to 80% within 45 minutes. It can also charge whilst you're driving along using the little lighter socket and there is an add-on that you can get which we're going to hopefully try out this afternoon. You can get fold-out solar panels. Um, so if you are like us and you're off-grid, if you're a van lifer, it's really useful having all those different options to charge this back up again. If you want to find out any more information then have a little look at the link down below in the description and thank you so much to All Powers for sending us this and for sponsoring today's video. Right, what's going on? I'm just finishing your lunch. It was really good. No. Yeah, I was looking forward to eating that. It's one of the best curries you've ever made. I think it's because of the... Um, you, can't, you can't just shower me see. with compliments and then... I'm starving. Mmm, lovely! 
<laughs> I'm gonna finish this, yeah. finish his lunch, and then she'll go to Lauren. Yeah, I just won't have lunch then. <laughs> <laughs> along this bit of the canal pretty much every day and these last few weeks it has been so rewarding to see the hedgerow bursting into new life. Blue skies, new shoots, spring is finally here. I do, until we get to what I've called Death Hill. Which doesn't even probably look like any sort of incline <laughs> on the camera, but it's enough when you've got a very heavy wheelbarrow. I'm very unfit at the moment. <laughs> it's good for you. And by the time I get to the end of this hill, I feel like I want to keel over. We've not been able to spend much time up here recently because of the endless rain. And so, not much has changed. But today, we are hoping to change that. We're making a start in getting this plot ready for planting. And that's it, we're just it. all set up so the battery bank is charging back up and it's already put on two percent which is pretty impressive so jack is gonna play around with our neighbor's trimmer he wants to sort out this area here a little bit i think it's we just do some trimming, that is. an excuse to give it a go <laughs> so we're gonna do that and then we also need to measure out the plot because we want to do raised beds um, but we're not sure how many we can fit here so we're gonna measure it up and then next time we come <laughs> because not much has changed this time then hopefully we can get on with that next time but yeah, not much to do today, which is good because the wind is quite cold, even though it's an absolutely gorgeous blue sky. So yeah, let's see how we get on. <laughs> how do I look? Absolutely brilliant. Yeah? Like a bug. <laughs> like a scuba diver. <laughs> Must not stream the wire. <laughs> Lost your end. The end. streaming end. Oh, bugger. Oh, no, no. That's it. What? It's fun doing this. I think I want my own strimmer. And I can actually see ground over there, which is good. So that's progress, isn't it? Right. Although, I know it's really, really pathetic. But like just pushing that little handle thing, my hand's got really tired. That's yeah, so just a dweeby day, thing to say, isn't it? <laughs> when do we get to have our hard-boiled egg? Oh, soon. The little snacks that I bought. Well, you finish trimming, yeah. I'll measure. And, we'll and then snack time.
sound a little bit daft, but I really feel like I needed an afternoon like this. We struggled a fair bit this winter. It was just so wet. And normally, you know, winter's never a great time on the boat, but you can sort of get through it. It's kind of the price you pay for summer and spring, but just this, this winter felt really, really tough. So an afternoon like this with some sun on your face and yeah, we had to come up here and do a bit of work on the allotment. Yeah, needed it. It's coming on, look at that. Good bit of streaming done. Yeah, I think it's now definitely time for a tea break though. Thank you so, so much for joining us this week. If you don't already, please do consider tapping subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, the thumbs up button too. Hopefully we will see you next time.